Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Sunday and we are getting ready to go out to eat and I wasn't planning on making a video today but I have a little bit of time while John is still getting ready so I thought I would just do an update on one product that I showed you on Friday and then um, Friday afternoon I believe I came home and had a box of goodies from my friend Nadine and you've heard me mention her before she has sent me many things i really noticed that when i was like going through my bronzers and my blushes and i send her stuff back we go back and forth and um so i have been using some of these things and they were kind of getting spread out so i thought gosh i better hurry up and show you before i misplace something and don't show it so she is one of those people like many of you that is extremely thoughtful and pays close attention to what I say and we like a lot of the same things. So she was sweet enough to order me a lot of the things that I had on my list. The first one I have on today and I love it and I am so glad that she sent this to me and that I have tried it again but it is the MAC Melba blush and it's matte I believe and I did not remember this being this pretty. I thought I remembered it, it's got more pink in it. It's more peachy pink than I remember. And I thought I remembered it being, I don't know, I don't know why I remembered it being kind of peachy boring. <laughs> but it is beautiful. It really just, you know, adds a lot of color. And I used my Sedona Lace blush brush and it just blended in beautifully with my Makeup Forever, you know, Matte Duo Powder, and I just love it. So she got that for me, and I love that. Then she got this, which is the CND Vinylux Weekly Polish, and this is in the Negligee Pink, or Negligee. This is the color that I had a manicure, and they painted my nails this, and I loved it, but I talked myself out of it because I thought it was so close to something else I had. And I did throw a quick coat on, but I threw it on over that other that I had on, which was the a base coat and a top coat, and I just put one coat on, and it doesn't look as pretty. Brooke put two coats on yesterday, and it's gorgeous. It has a really neat kind of pearlescent tone to it that makes your nails look almost like they have gel nails. You know what I mean? Almost that blue undertone or something it's just so pretty so if you get a chance to pick this up do because it's gorgeous okay then she picked up one of these new i have not tried them the new laura mercier paint wash liquid lip color and this is in petal pink and it's what i have on today and i love it it is gorgeous it is like one of my colors it's those colors that i like that are the color of lips you know what i mean like a variation they just it's almost like they're nude in that they're the color of your lips and but maybe a little bit brighter now today i did not put on any you know i could have put on put on plumberry or catrice nude rose or some of those that i love to make the outsides of my lips show up better and every time i do that someone has a negative comment about my lips and that just goes to show you lip liner makes your lips look fuller so fullness, yeah <laughs> so if you want your lips to look just very full and pouty use lip liner because that's when i get the comments but today i just wanted to put this on and really see the color so all i did was put on um gosh the lancome natural mauve which is literally the color of my lips if not lighter just to give me a line because this is one of those that are really opaque and I love it and see how it still has a little bit of sheen to it that's what I love I don't like the ones that are so matte or so streaky you know I even tried to use one of those that I used to like the NYX lip cream I don't even like those anymore I've just gotten where I really don't like it if they're too just I don't know too crazy looking I mean I think when we we get so into Instagram and YouTube that things that are just, we get used to seeing things and to a person that isn't into that, it just looks kind of crazy. And that's how I feel like some of those look on me. And it's probably because of my skin tone. So anyway, this is not like that, yet it's full color. So I love that. 
Then she said now every time she sees a decorative um, dish towel, she thinks of me and, oh my God, wait till you see this. Look at this dish towel. Is that not gorgeous? And what I love about this is it reminds me of Brooke because Brooke's long, dark hair. And when Brooke is sleeping, I just love going in and looking at them when they're sleeping because they're just, I don't know, moms, you don't know what I mean. It's like you just see that baby. It's, it's like they always look the same when they're sleeping. And her eyelashes always look so pretty and her lips always look so pretty. And Brooke has really pigmented lips. And um, so I told her that looked just like her. I love that. Okay, these, she got me the Cheek Pop, Plum Pop, and the Estee Lauder uh, Lover's Blush which I had beat her to it, but her being the sweetheart that she is, she got them for me, but did not get them for her. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a box of things that I'm gonna send to her. I told her, I'm gonna send these back to you because I want her to have them too. So love, you guys know how much I love those. Then she sent me this, which is one of those little bands to put your hair up in out of your face. And I like it cause it's really thin and um, it's elastic -y. it's really cute. And of course it's leopard. Okay, this, I love this. Okay. My own stationery with the high heel, the leopard high heel. <laughs> I love it. I love stationery, you guys know that. Okay, and I'm so scared that there's probably something in here that I forgot. Oh, I know what it was. She sent Brooke a beautiful sweater that is right And she sent Shelly. this sweater to Brooke, which is Free People. And Brooke loves Free People. She loves Free People, Urban Outfitters. Who else, Brooke? Free People, Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Forever 21. She doesn't want to, she doesn't want to speak. <laughs> but Brooke loves that. And then so. this. And I could not decide between using this today and the Melba, but I grabbed the Melba just because I was so curious, but this is a Laura Mercier, and I thought it was an eyeshadow at first. It's called Soft Iris, and I didn't realize it was a blush until I looked it up, just to, because you know how I am, I like to look up things and read about them and everything, and it is a, let's see, soft second skin cheek color, and it's a sheer cheek color, and look, I hope that you can see how gorgeous that is. It is beautiful. It is different than anything I have and I love it. I just saw a pair of the prettiest, um, you know, the Ray-Bans that I love that are different colors. There's a beautiful pair on the Ray-Ban site that is purple. I think it's just called purple with gold on the outside and um, that's what this reminds me of. It's that pinky purple orchid type color and I love it. So I will wear that really soon to show that. So thank you so you much Nadine. Also. Of course her and I have already talked about everything so um the next thing i want to update you on and let you know is this the makeup forever ink liner and i got this suggestion from sherry curry who is much more talented than i am at eyeliner and eye makeup in general and i think that is why i probably cannot use it i used it today so it makes a beautiful you can see it's a matte dark line, but I still have that same problem with getting it on my lashes. And it is, if you want, um, it is, see it's still like a, it's just a, it's not a brush, it's just, but it's still a real soft bendy thing at the end. And it has a lot on the product and I have a hard time getting my top line straight. I think I just need to stick with my, I like the Kat Von D, but if I had to say my favorite black pen liner, it would be the Stila. The Stila one I can do my best wings with, but the negative about the Stila is the end breaks and starts like having little fuzzy things on it kind of early. I'm hoping that they will fix that. So you have to replace it a little bit more often, but I like the Stila and I like the Wet n Wild, I think a little bit better than this just because I, probably just because I'm used to it and I can get a better line. So I will um, probably just give this to Brooke and see how she likes it. But I just wanted to let you know that, um, I wanted to let you see it, see how matte it is. But you can see on the top, I had a hard time getting my, my line was shaky. And that's, I'm sure that's my fault. I'm sure if I had 
was just better at it. It's just not foolproof for me. Okay, is that it? Um, my hair is the same as yesterday. I just kind of straightened it a little bit. I'm glad that some of that dark is fading a little bit. And so you can see how the blonde starts kind of going back up in it. Okay, I'll do a quick outfit of the day and then and I'll let you go. I have right on back. my um, overalls that I bought from Oliver back in the summer. And I'll be honest with you, I cannot even remember what kind they are. I'll have to put down here what they are. I know they don't have them anymore, but they're the ones they've got the distressed knee and then i've got on this which is one of my michael lauren tops it's the one that's kind of like a sweater and um i just just for something different i put on my kate spade pumps these are the licorice not the licorice two and these are aluminum and these are some of my all-time favorite pumps these are right under the stuart weitzman for comfort and i just think they're so pretty i've got them in several colors i think i got Let's see these, the rose gold and the black suede. And I love them. So, and a lot of times you can find these on sale. And um, then I'm still using my Rebecca Minkoff backpack. And this is it for today. Okay, and for accessories, I just have on my brushed silver Sheila Fajal, everybody's favorite earrings, <laughs> the hoops. And let's see. So I already told you about my lips and my lashes are the Red Cherry 43s. They are just those and my 120S are my favorites. And I think that's it. I think John's ready to go. So that was perfect timing. And I have something else I got in the mail that I want to show you. And I'm going to try to do a tutorial this week. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.